you go and sit with a private employer and you discuss what you're going to do work in this uh, software company or in this hamburger joint or whatever it is. You sit and you discuss, I'm going to come in Monday through Friday at 8 o'clock in the state of fire. You know, the, the, this, I'm going to work with this machine in this corner under these rules. And then you get to that key moment, how much are we going to get paid for this? And let's say, just for the simplicity, I'm going to get paid $20 an hour. At that moment, Marx says something which was a theoretical breakthrough, even though everybody knows this. But it's often true that the greatest breakthroughs are putting into words what we kind of all knew, but quite didn't see. Here's his idea. If you're going to be paid by an employer $20 an hour, the following statement must be true. During that hour, your labor produces more for the employer that he sells at the end of the day than $20 worth. Because that's why he's in the big... If paying you $20, you went to work and you did an output that gave another $20 for him to sell, then he's got nothing out of this. He's made 20 by selling what your labor helped to produce, but he's got to give it to you. And even though he likes you, he's not going to do that. There has to be in it, you know, something for him. You have to produce, this is ineluctable, you have to produce more in every hour then you get paid. Otherwise, this system doesn't work. So for those of you, and I have to tell you this, because partly you need to hear it, and partly I admit I get a kick out of telling you. <laughs> those of you who think that in a capitalist system, you're never going to work for anybody who doesn't pay you what you're 